Welcome to Chef Nicholas Brings Hamilton and the World to You. Today we're with Melanie Barlow from the Ancaster Community Services. So, Melanie, tell me a little bit about community services. Well, Chef, uh, Ancaster Community Services uh, has actually been in the community of Ancaster since 1969, so we're coming on our 50th anniversary. Really excited about that. Uh, we started off as a small little information center with a little Rolodex on the front desk, but we've blossomed into a full-service community agency, social service agency, offering multiple programs that assist people in our community. Very, very good. Yeah. Now we're going to take this little cheese grater here because we have to All make right. sure it's special, right? All right. And I know in the Polish dishes we want to use a special cheese oh, grater. Yes. So we're going to use this one here. Okay. We're going to take that potato down and put it in this bowl here. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to let you use it. Oh my gosh, thank God. <laughs> I thought okay. that was going to so be here all day. So just going to that very quickly okay. into that bowl. Great, okay. thank you. Let's just do two potatoes is good. And while you're doing that, I'll start getting an onion ready. Alrighty. So tell me a little bit about your Polish background, uh, Melanie. Yeah, I'm proud to be a Polish, uh, Polish uh, descendant. My grandparents actually immigrated from Poland in 1926. Right. Uh, they landed in Hamilton, originally in Quebec City, and landed in Hamilton. Um, my grandparents are from a very small town in Poland called, I hope I pronounce it right, excuse me if I don't, Zaborek. Mm -hmm. And uh, they landed in Hamilton, my grandfather with his uh, seven brothers and sisters. Big family, all lived in a farmhouse on Rymel Road in Hamilton. My dad's side is Polish, my mom's side is English. Right. And uh, my husband, oddly enough, his mother's side is Polish and his dad's side is English. So we oh, have Polish on both sides of our right? families. Yeah. So tell me a highlight of the uh, your community services. Give me something that came up this last year. Well, we've had uh, a real growth in our programs. As many of you know, Ancaster is a very quickly growing community. Um, we, our Meals on Wheels program in particular served over 3,600 meals last year by our volunteers. Very so we, it's wonderful to be able to provide nutritious programs for seniors in our community. We're seeing a real uh, diverse and uh, uh, quickly growing increase in need in our community. Very good. I taught some classes at the Ancaster Achievement Center. Oh, yeah. Very nice group of yes. people there. Yeah. Very nice kitchen. Senior there, achievement. Actually. Oh, they have a lovely kitchen. Okay. You're going to put your hands in there. You're going to mix all that together. Just with your hands. Okay. Just squeeze it together. Awesome. Really, really tight. Really tight. It's going to be good. And then we're going to put it in the cheesecloth. And what we're just doing is drain it from some of the liquid. Right. And then we're going to place it in this bowl here. It's already smelling good. All right. <laughs> it's going in here. Yep. Just give it a good. Don't give it a good squeeze in here first. Oh, let's throw that cheesecloth. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's good. Yeah, we also have a food bank. We are the local food bank in this community serving a very big rural area. Right. Not just Ancaster, but we also service as far as communities such as uh, Linden, Jerseyville, Alberton, and as far as Troy, which is also the city of Hamilton. Nice. And we also pick up an area in Lower West Hamilton, which uh, we are the closest food bank to that area. So there is a, a little pocket area in Hamilton that we service. Okay, now we're going to throw a little bit of the flour in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And mix it in. Okay, we're just going to put a little dab yep. of that in there. That's exactly one teaspoon right there. We're good. What is that? Oh, margarine. One teaspoon exactly. Okay, get a good cup, a little bit of that in there for me. That's good. That's perfect. perfect. Okay, put that yeah. aside. There's a little piece of clove of garlic for you. Mm -hmm. Take one for me. So again, we're going to remember we did this before. We're going to take off the ends. Good. Take your knife, give it a good little hit, and that'll get off your oh, skin yeah. there. Perfect. You know that? Yep. Yep. And then we're going to try to make sure we bring that down as much as we can, okay? So if somebody wanted to get involved or volunteer at your community services in Castro, how would they do that? Well, let me just say that if we didn't have our volunteers, our programs wouldn't exist. We have 140 volunteers, including our volunteer board of directors. Wow, 140. We're very fortunate. Very fortunate. Very fortunate yes. We have a very generous community. You know what? They, if someone wants to get involved, they can just simply just call our office. And the phone number is? 905-648-6675. And we, our website is ancastercommunityservices.ca. Perfect. Ooh, do I get to put my hands yeah, on this? You're going to mix that up now. We are, uh, we are open. And we are very uh, open to their schedules. And we are very flexible. I'm going to try to make those yeah. into little patties, okay? 
So how long have you worked at the Ancaster Community Services? Well, I've been there for 13 years, 13, uh, right. 10 years as the Coordinator of Volunteer Services. Oh, nice, yes. And then I uh, was offered the position in 2015 as Executive Director, so it was a, a natural transition. I will not say it was an easy one because there was lots to learn. Yep, New yep. position. different role, yeah, more different administrative. Role, yeah. yeah, and then, you know, difficult to kind of... Uh, move away from the volunteers because that's what I love. I'm all about the people and all about the, the clients so. that we serve. Right. And you're just going to lower those in there. Nice okay. and easy. And it should be nice enough. Oh, man, ready. We're yep. going to be good. The okay. sizzle up really good. Mm. Okay, what we're going to do, I'll get you to assess this here. We're just going to pull it down on here. We're going to do this way yep. into the bowl. There we go. Just keep that rubber down. Perfect. We're going to make just a little bit of a garnish or sauce for the top of these. Okay. Take your time. Don't rush it yet. We don't want to have any red in there. Okay. Don't, don't want, want a sticker in there either. No, we don't want no sticker and definitely no red. It's definitely not as easy as it looks. So what's one of the new events going to come up in the fall at the end? So we have one of our uh, newer fundraisers. It's called Ride for Refuge. It's taking place on September 29th on the Saturday. Um, yeah, that's good. Yep. We have... Uh, we, um, ride for Refuge is actually a 5K walk, a 10K ride, 10, 25, or 50K bike ride. Wow. And we're hoping that community members want to get involved with Ride for Refuge and support our agency. They can fundraise on behalf of our programs. Right. The refuge is uh, kind of a, a term that people often associate with refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have refugee families that we assist in our community. Um, but the refuge, it's refuge from hunger, refuge from loneliness, refuge from, uh, you know, isolation, oh, nice. and yes. refuge from, um, from just having needs that they, uh, that they need fulfilled. Sour cream in there. Oh yes, gotta have sour cream. So Ride for Refuge takes place on in, end of September. Nice. Uh, registration is open now, so we're really hoping that community members want to get involved. It's a very family-friendly event. You don't have to be an expert cyclist to uh, participate in it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Now we're going to just put some of your lemon, just squeeze that lemon into there. Okay. A little bit of lemon in there. Okay, sour cream. Perfect. And this is going to be good. Now we can take those out with your, and we're going to plate them nicely here, okay? Nice. When we're plating, go ahead. When we're plating, it's very important we try to keep just off the sides of the plate, right? Oh, okay. Just to give it a nice look. And what we would do normally, we would garnish this probably with a parsley or an Italian parsley or even a arugula. Okay, Perfect. Nice. And we'll have a nice look to it. Smells wonderful. Hmm, they look very good. Nice. And again, what we would do. We would put a little bit of parsley on top of that, a little bit of uh, Italian Oops. parsley, and a little bit of all nice to give it some look, right? Because color, when you're cooking, is just as important as taste. So do you cook a lot, Melanie? What's your favorite dish that you cook? Well, I tend to cook uh, a lot of Italian food in our house. Italian food. I have two teenagers that love Italian food, but uh, they love yeah, pasta. Do that, you know, yeah. I, you know what? I, I can honestly say that doing pierogies and cabbage rolls is a lot of work. So right. I really appreciate the work that uh, she put into it. Yes. Um, yeah. Jokingly, she used to call me her little Shvinya, which in Polish means pig. <laughs> so, uh, yes, so I used to absolutely just pig out with her food. So, uh, yeah, I love Polish food, but um, this is really exciting to be able to cook potato pancakes. Okay, we're going to give a little mess oh, there. And grab a bite. Lord. Just like a little piece. We get to try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we'll do one, two, three. We'll do it at the same time. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. Really nice taste. Really nice taste. The lemon is spectacular. Mmm. You can really get that little mm -hmm. bite in there. It's mm -hmm. good. Well, thanks very much, Melanie. It was Thank great to see you. Thank you so much. Later on, Melanie will be back. We'll be judging our competition, which will be a three-on-three -three competition with two community groups coming in to compete in a cook-off. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Greg Lenko, host of Hammer Happenings on Cable 14. Join me to find out about events going on in your area, or if you just want to see my funky socks, tune in and watch and get involved in our community. If you've got an event you'd like to see featured on Hammer Happenings, make sure to contact us by visiting www.cable14.com slash request dash access. I know it's a lot to take down and a lot to remember, but you can do it really easily just by looking at the screen. Okay, see you soon. 
Welcome back to Chef Nicholas Brings, How in the World to You. Now we're in our competition stage. We have the Cavaliers versus the Sizzlers today. Both great teams, practice a lot. I heard the Sizzlers were in the kitchen for two or three hours before they got here this morning. Okay, these are your ingredients. I'll hand them to you. I'll ring the bell and we're going to get started. We have pork loin, wonton, bacon, lasagna noodles, spinach, mushrooms, a can of Spam, red pepper, onion, apple, can of tuna, mozzarella cheese, pizza dough, carrots, chips, potatoes, and six eggs. Remember, you don't have to use all the ingredients, but you have to use half of each ingredient in the box. Do we understand? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hand you your sheets. You. When I ring the bell, you can start moving to your sides and get ready. Good luck. We're ready? Let's get cooking. Okay, so, guys. What is our plan? What's in there? It's a pizza dough. Okay, Chris, tell us what's happening here so far. Tell us your plan. Okay. Don't worry, the other team can't hear. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? We got, we got Blank, Blank, Elena. Yes, uh, okay. so we're going to play on the idea of beef wellington. Beef wellington. So we're going to use pork, um, maybe spam instead of a pate, um, and uh, noodles instead of a fillet pastry, and then we'll bake it with some sauce. On the side, we'll probably do some roasted vegetables, um, some playing idea with wontons, um, and yeah, this is so far. Sounds good. Well, let's get cooking. We've got time. <laughs> Thank you. We're preparing. Okay. Okay. Look at these sizzlers already moving <laughs> on ahead, way ahead. They're cutting, cutting. We got peppers cutting over there. We got apples cutting. And the team captain here, Wendy, she's cutting this pork up. So what are we doing with this pork, Wendy? Um, we're going to be cooking it in the oil over here. Okay, we're going to fry it up in the yep, oil. Yeah, fry it up. Don't forget, you have all those spices over there, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. That. Okay. Looking nice, looking nice. Elena, what are we doing yes. now? You're the, what are you mastering here? I am going to fry up some bacon and right. pass it on to uh, one of my guys so yep. they can uh, get on with the wontons. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. looking good. <laughs> now, Chris, look at that talent with that knife. I like that. That, that back cut. Very we got over here the onion uh, with Kristen just mashing that onion down. So what are you preparing with the apple, Chris? I think this is going to go in with the pork loin. Pork loin, nice, nice. Yeah, apple and pork always goes. Apple sauce. Apple with, sauce with the pork chops. That's right, always that. Always with that. Very good. Well, get going. That's really good, guys. Renee, tell me what we're doing here. Chopping up some peppers. Yeah. Uh, and Jeff here's got some mushrooms. Mushrooms and the spinach. What are we going to do with that? We're going to put them in our lasagna noodles and roll them up. Really oh, nice. nice, nice. A little lasagna. So we have the spinach, the mushroom and the pepper and the lasagna noodle. Yeah. Vegetarian. So far. So far. We may be meat leftovers later. We'll see. Right now it's vegetarian, lasagna roll. That's it. Perfect. Sounds good. Keep on going, guys. So Chris, now we're in the pizza dough competition point. You're going to get one point for your team if you throw it higher and better than the other team. So we're going to get that nice and round, first of all. Don't throw it up yet. When I say one, you're going to throw it up. Catch it. Then you're going to wait. Like I say two, you're going to throw it up and catch it, hopefully. Then three. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Get that nicely kneaded out. It kind of looks like a long circle, but that's okay. Ready? One. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Almost at the camera. Now. Two. Beautiful. And one more. Three. Hits the ceiling. Amazing. I think that's a good toss. We'll check on the other team to see who wins the point. All right. Sounds good. Now we're with Renee. Now, the Cavaliers did a good job. He even hit the ceiling, Chris did, with that pizza dough. It was up to the sizzlers, Renee. This is for a point. Can you do it? Let's get your dough ready. What am I doing? Well, I say one, we're going to throw it up. Ready, Renee? Yeah. Okay, one. Whoa, nice toss with the fingers. A little bit on my outfit, a little bit on your outfit. Right now. Okay, ready? Two. Oh, I like the little finger toss. Nice. And three. Whoa! <laughs> I definitely think Renee won it, Chris. The singers got the point. Great going, great job. A little dirty, but great job. Okay, nice to use your dough. Wendy, we're yes. about uh, almost 10 minutes in now. Mm -hmm. How's our plan working? So far, so good. Just waiting for the 
pork to finish up so we can fry up some of this for our uh, lasagna roll-ups. What's in that pork? Anything in there? Uh, pork, oil? bacon, oil, there's a bit of barbecue sauce and pepper and a couple of spices. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the lasagna noodles are going to be rolled in that? Ro no, okay. the lasagna noodles are being rolled on the side with, uh, filled with the spinach and mushroom and nice. all of that. It's yeah. more like a vegetarian dish there. Kind of, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you think you'll be ready in 30 minutes? I think so. Good. All Good. right. Good luck. <laughs> well, we're about 30 minutes left to go in the competition. That's about a quarter of the way through. Melanie, what do you think so far? Well, I think we have some stiff competition here. We have some serious teams here. So now what do you think about that pizza dough toss? Yeah, I was really impressed with the pizza dough toss, especially the one that hit the ceiling. It's always good when it hits the ceiling. Adds uh, a little flavor. Absolutely. You never know what you're going to get on it after that. Uh, I thought Renee did a wonderful job. I saw that she had a bit of a backflip there that she caught behind her, so I don't know if that was intentional, but great job by both teams. I like those three finger toss. I don't know how she did that little... I've never seen that. I think she may have been practicing. She, she must have got this. that from Belgium rather than Italy, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, don't, think I don't think they do that in Poland like that, do they? Uh, no. I don't no. Think so. <laughs> okay, we'll be back at halftime, and Melanie will see at halftime where we are. Wonderful. Thank you. Now we're doing our egg challenge with our captain, Wendy, of the Sizzlers. <laughs> so, what we have to do, we're going to crack these two eggs, right. the yolks and the shells in here. We want to get as much white in there so we can beat that team. Okay. The team already has one point. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you get another point. All right. There you go. So eggs and yolk in here. The, the shell and the yolk in here. The white in the other one. No, there's a nice cracking technique. Okay, don't lose. Okay, you're gonna put the white in there and the yolk in the other one then. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We're changing. We're doing it backwards. Backwards. Ah! Okay. Whoa. We have to get that yolk out of there. See if you can get that yolk out. Use your shell. Use the shell. <laughs> have to use the shell. No other tools can be used. All right. Let's see if we can get the yolk out of there because you're going to lose on Mac. I throw that near the bowl. Ah! Take your time. Can oh. I lift it? Oh, yeah. use that one if you want. <laughs> so, uh. It's okay. <laughs> this isn't working so well. It's okay, you got one point. Let's Thank try. God for Renee. Uh, let, let's <laughs> try the other egg. All right. We'll have to measure just the white in there. Okay. Now we just want white in here. Okay. 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 <laughs> that was originally the plan. <laughs> that was the plan. I just thought I'd repeat that. All right. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. I like the technique, the drip technique we call this. The drip, drip. Different technique, I like it. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I think we're good. Now let's take a look, throw that in the other one. Oh, the finger pull. It's called the finger pull taffy pull white. <laughs> All right. So that's okay, we washed our hands. Yes, we so did. So <laughs> we've got a good measurement there. It's about a quarter, but there's a lot of yolk. There is. So we're gonna go see what the other team does. Okay. okay. Now we're with the captain of the Cavaliers, Elena. That's what we had here for the Sizzlers. We need just white in there and see if you can beat them. There you go. Sure. Crack it open, white's in there. Shell and yolk in the other. Yeah. Let's see the technique. Oh, the back and forth technique. Not the dripping technique Wendy used earlier. Okay, beautiful. Here's another one. Back and forth technique again. Whoa, don't drop that yolk in there. Just keep it going. You got it if you don't get any yolk. Beautiful. Okay. There you go. Okay, throw that there. Let's take a look. Well, we definitely have about the same amount of liquid, but there's a lot of yolk in there. Team Cavaliers are the winner of the egg compass. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. One for one. Okay, we've gone through 15 minutes of competition. Wendy, where are we? We're up, got our lasagna roll up started. Beautiful. Our meat's completed. Nice. We're just waiting on the potatoes and some of our spam and bacon that we're about to fry up. Beautiful. So you're there, eh? We're getting there. No problem? No problem. No problem. Okay, good luck, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Elena, Team Scissors look like they're under the way. We have 15 minutes already gone. We have 25 minutes left. Can we do yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can do it. We have our wontons in the oven. Good. Uh, so we're just waiting for our pasta to boil so right. we can do this. We're going to put it in the oven. We have our second um, side, right here. side, which is grated potatoes, carrots, apple with a bit of common. Nice. Uh, salt, 
egg flour. You saw that rep a recipe to McDonald's. It's likely a hash brown. It is. It looks nice. <laughs> nice, nice looking hash brown. I like it. Thank you. Very good. Well, good luck. Keep on moving. Okay. Okay, 20 yes. minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 20 minutes. We're at half time. The competition is really stiff. And we have like a hash brown over here. We have some uh, unusual little pizza thing going over here. We've got some stuff happening, eh? Surprisingly enough, it smells amazing in here, and I am very impressed with both teams' cutting ability. Obviously, they've been around the knife many times, so uh, very impressed with their cutting skills here today. And uh, it was very nice for today. Today we're filming at Longo's in Ancaster, uh, and you, you attended some of the classes uh, at Longo's. I have. I've actually attended the, one of the classes myself and had a wonderful time. Great experience. So again, if you want to come out to classes, we're having here at Longo's. We do them once a month, starting in the fall. And like Melanie said, they're a lot of fun and a great meal. It, absolutely, it was well worth it. Thank you. Okay. So tell me where we are with the cooking now. Uh, we're doing our wonton noodles. Nice. And uh, the last little bit of the topping for our pizza that we're making. Very good. So mm -hmm. we're going to have pizza as a side, I imagine. Yes. Yep. The entree is? Um, our pork tenderloin with onions and garlic and potatoes will all be chopped and... Put together. Yeah, put okay. together. And, and then last? the lasagna roll-ups. Right. Um, which will include the wonton noodles. The lasagna roll-up will have the wontons in it. Yeah, they'll be in it. A mixture. It's oh, a mixture. It's a wonton lasagna <laughs> yep. roll-up. roll-up. Okay, there very good, go. Wendy, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. So Elena, how are we doing here? We got the, the hash brown, I call it, over there. Yeah, it's getting nice and crispy. Looks crispy, looks nice. <laughs> Crispy's <laughs> nice. For a bit of a crunch. My pasta, though, it just doesn't want to cook, but it'll be you know, fine. When you look at a boiling pot, you know what happens. I know. It doesn't boil. But it's fine. So we're we, so we using the other half of the pan now to saute all the vegetables. So nice. then we'll just have everything done and we'll be able to so plate. So our, our side is the uh, hash brown and the rolled up pasta noodles aside. And then we're having a little wonton Oh, as a pastry. side? Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And the entree is the pork. Pork. Beautiful. Pork, right here. yeah. With pork. the spinach. We're going to put um, spam. Spam. Wrap it around in pasta and uh, give it a quick finish with the melted cheese on top. Beautiful. What are the chips going to happen with? We're going to sprinkle it on the top. Okay, we got That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, good luck, eh? Thank you. 13 minutes to go, guys. Oh, put that in the oven. Oven, oven. Now we're back with Chris, our master preparer with Kristen. Chris, tell me about this table. It looks very um, decorative. Uh, what happened here? Prepare one thing, slide to the side, get the next going. Oh, okay. So. We didn't use this bowl as a garbage bowl. We just used the table, whatever. Yeah. Pretty much, Pretty yeah. much. But, but it looks it good. going in there. But how do you feel? You feel you're good? You got 12 minutes left. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I'm confident in the <laughs> cooking we did. Good, good, good. Recipes. So we're going to clean this up, and you're going to plate it right here, right? Yep. So you start cleaning whenever you're ready. You throw it to the back, and then get the plate out and get it ready to go. All Perfect. Right. Good luck. Okay. okay, Renee, your table's not as bad as over there with the Cavaliers, but we need to get this all cleaned up. We have about 10 minutes left. Okay. And we're going to plate right in the middle. Are you ready to plate? We're, yeah, we're getting ready to plate. Are the Cavaliers going under? You got them beat? Um, I think I think we got them beat. Oh, we think. Okay, but they said they they got you. They got you. Oh no, we no, gotta no. take it up a temple here. No, we no. are the sizzlers. Oh, you are the sizzlers. The sizzlers. So you're hot and you're ready to go. We got it. Okay. Ten minutes left, guys. I need Five minutes to finish cooking. Five minutes to plate. What do you think, Melanie? Wow. These teams are both uh, very experienced, it looks like, and they know their way around the kitchen. I've been very impressed with the work they've been doing today. You can feel the tension in the room. These two teams both want to win. Are you ready to taste the food? I am. Yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> okay, Chris, you and Kristen are going to decorate this plate. Tell us, from, uh, from what are we doing here? We're going to put down uh, some dipping sauce for the wontons. So we'll okay. Put them in there, a little flavor on the side. Okay, yeah. And then with this so. one, I want to do the curry. The curry with the hash brown? Yeah. With the chili powder? Yeah. Good, give it a little flavor. Okay, well, I'm going to come back in a bit yeah. and see where you are, Chris, because we got yeah. the entree still to go, right? That's right. Yeah. Very good, guys. Okay, Renee and Jeff, give me a little plating. Uh, where we were dialogue here. Where are we doing so far with this plating? Um, 
I think it was a, a matter of seeing kind of what we were going to do at the end here, and then we kind of just we're kind of making it work at this point. Our stuff's great. We are the ingredients are good. We know what's in it. It's going to taste fantastic. And, the plate and what is good. this red sauce we got here going through? A little bit of sriracha. Mm -hmm. Sriracha. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Five minutes left. Let's get this plated. We're good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Good job. Guys. We're right on time. Five minutes. The last two minutes. You got a plate. Oh, great. Okay. Nice looking pizza, Wendy. Thank you. It looks like we even have honey on the side here. I'm not sure. Um, we have some spam, spinach, spam. Uh, bacon, bacon, potato chips. Um, no. no, there's a bit of egg in there too egg, as nice. well. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, sauce here? That's a that is just the maple. it's a the maple barbecue sauce. Oh, maple mm -hmm. barbecue. Yes. Okay. It's like Canadian. oh, and there's a little bit of apple in there. Oh, really, Canadian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh, apple <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Two minutes left, guys. Two minutes warning. Two minutes. Okay. Put it one here and one there. Put it here. It can touch the whole thing. Thirty seconds. Let's go. What do you Drive's think, Jeff? Running out. These teams are looking. Push it. Get Push that. I'll get that off the side. Okay. Give me a paper towel. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, one. If you are ready to play, we are ready to pay. Kiwanis TV Bingo is coming your way. Pick up those $3 bingo cards at any one of almost 200 vendors around the Hamilton community. Tune into Cable 14 on Monday nights at 7 p.m. and win cash. Over $150,000 up for grabs this season. You won't want to miss it. Break a dabber. Welcome back. The judges took over an hour, ate the entire plate of both teams' foods to make this decision. It was so, so close. But before I make that decision, the joke of the day. A bunch of mushrooms and sesame seeds walk into a casino. The mushrooms go up to the bar and they're having a drink. Sesame seeds are gambling at the gambling tables. All of a sudden the mushrooms get carried away, they're a little loud. The bartender says, these guys are going to have to leave. The mushrooms go, why? We're fun guys. <laughs> As they're leaving the bar, they're leaving the bar. The mushrooms say to the sesame seeds, are you leaving with us? Are you coming with us? And they said, no, we're on a roll. <laughs> Anyways, the jokes are bad. The cooking was good. Very good. Remember, at Longbow's, we're here today at Ancaster Longbow's. Great show here today. We have classes here at Longbow's uh, all the time. You can pick up the fall catalog, which comes out in August, just a few weeks. Um, take a look at it and sign up quickly because spots go quickly. Again, Sizzlers, thank you very much. Cavaliers, thank you very much. It's a very hard decision. Very, very, very close. And the score ended up being Sizzlers. You came up with a 54. Cavaliers, you came up with 56. Oh, yes! Cavaliers are the winners today. Great cooking. Here are the prizes. We're going to crown the captain. She gets her crown. And look at these amazing prizes. Gold, jewelry. Thank you. You guys have been way to measure. Look at that. We have a nice spoon ready to go. Pull those prizes up with pride. Only one you want a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only one you want a little bit of cheese. Good point, Chris. I like that. Remember, Chef Nicholas brings Hamilton and the world to you. <laughs>